Now on Bloomberg Intelligence, Muni's in Focus with Joe Mizak. All right, Focus on Muni's today is brought to you by Build America Mutual. Build America Mutual ensures U.S. municipal bonds that finance essential American infrastructure and provides guaranteed income to improve any portfolio. Be part of Building America. Invest in BAM. 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 Insured bonds. There you go. For the last time today, I'm chatting with Joe Mysack on the municipal bonds uh, in New York uh, Bloomberg Radio. Because, Joe, you're retiring a week from today. Indeed, sir. And I have been on the farewell tour, which is why I have this voice. <laughs> All right. So just recap for us. How many years overall in the covering this business, the working man? 43 management? years. That's amazing. 43 25 years, covering years the, here. 25 years at Bloomberg. Here. 43 years covered in the municipal right. bond market. All right. So you go back to like the you know, old, like, I don't even know how far back that is. Lincoln how did you get that. into, how did you, I'm sure we'll do some of this next week too, but how did you get into the muni space? I found my job in the New York Times. And they're like, <laughs> here, go do munis. You're like, okay, and then you no, just it was stayed. a classified ad, and I, I responded to it, to a, uh, you know, a job, you know, employment agency. And the guy said, do you know anything about municipal bonds? I said, no. He's like, he good. Said, well, I don't think that matters. <laughs> I think you would probably do it. So I went to that, you know, uh, went down to downtown and uh, uh, interviewed with the editor. And he said, you know, I would prefer, uh, you know, I always prefer to train someone who knows how to write and doesn't know about the bond market rather than try to train someone who knows about the bond market and doesn't know how to write. Yep. So. Yep. Very yeah. good. All right. Yeah. And the rest is history. I, I've actually said that, too, that, like, you want to know someone who can do TV and then you can teach them the other stuff as long as they're hungry and want to learn versus you get someone super right. in the weeds and then they just can't talk on television. Gotcha. But, you know. Okay. Anyway, yeah, that makes sense. We are aligned. Yeah. All right, so uh, Joe's got one more week working life, uh, and then who knows what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. I mean, this thing's, this guy could go downhill quickly, you know, <laughs> we got go crazy, you know, do all kinds of crazy stuff. All right, Joe, we got some mega deals out there in missile bond space. Um, mega. I mean, I mean, I what is a mega deal? 27 deals so far this year. Mega deal I define as a uh, billion dollars plus. And in municipals, that's an unusual thing. And so far this year, we've had 27 of them. And a couple of years back, 2020, I think it was, we had 26 for the entire year. So why are, we are closing Why are we seeing fast. the big deals? Uh, you know, uh, um, analysts have said to me, well, you know, there are bigger infrastructure projects. And, um, you know, there's also kind of, I don't know how to put it, enhanced demand from ETFs and separately managed accounts. So they can sell larger issues and sell them out. And finally, there's also uh, inflation, and that's forced prices of some big projects higher. But wow, you should see some of these, they're, they're you know, uh, upsizing them. Uh, you know, so a deal may come in, $850 million, and they upsize it to, uh, you know, well over a billion. So 27 so far this year. Who knows where we will end up? What do you, what do you think? You'll be uh, watching from somewhere fun. I would <laughs> not be surprised if we had 40, maybe wow. more. And, in a, you know, a total year, uh, I think we're, you know, a little over $220 billion. We're up almost 40% in terms of new issue sales. Um, depending on what happens kind of toward the end of the year here, we had very well have a $500 billion year, which would be first in the municipal market. The year that Citibank gets out of uh, the business. Nice, yeah. nice trade. Right. Uh, we actually had a deal I saw Wednesday, John F. Kennedy International Airport. They marketed and then increased mm. to $2.55 billion. So. Right. That gets your attention. We're oh, so we're still yeah. paying for that thing. Oh yeah. Well, that you know, they're that's money well spent. I'll have to say. Well, what they're doing there really is is their um, the uh, public private partnership that is rebuilding a terminal at JFK. Uh, they are paying down a bank loan they took, and it was uh, a six point mm. six billion dollar bank loan, I think it was. So this is the second installment of the paying down the bank loan. Uh, which yes, that that's a good use of the money, and and uh, uh, they'll have you know more money, and I think there was some you know actual new new cash in there uh, for their project. 
Uh, all right, the next one is, here we go. Apparently, lawmakers in Kansas have now advanced legislation that would help the Kansas City Chiefs move across state lines from Missouri. Can you talk me through? Poaching. <laughs> Poaching. How is this what? a muni story? Is that a dumb question? Pardon? How is this a muni story? Is oh, this a well, dumb they, question? They, uh, the the um, Kansas lawmakers want to make it possible for uh, the, the sales tax revenue bonds that they sell uh, to be used for a new stadium. Oh. And, uh, you know, the, the Missouri lawmakers now have to respond on their end. But obviously, uh, the, it's almost a bidding war for the Chiefs. And I thought, you know, AP carried a, a follow-up story because when we carried our story, it just passed the House. Well, now it's already also passed the Senate in, in uh, Kansas. And they, they, they uh, quoted a, a representative saying, this is the system that we're stuck in. So if we choose to opt out of that system, we will lose every time. <laughs> and I thought, you know, that is just so, you know, these guys are, they have a gun to their heads. And so now Kansas and Missouri are going to slug it out. Um, wow. So uh, the, I'm just, looking at the reporting here. The it. effort to entice the Chiefs comes after voters in Missouri County rejected the extension of a sales tax that would help fund renovations to the team's 50-year-old NFL stadium in Kansas City, Missouri. The funds would have also been used to build a new ballpark for the Major League Baseball Royals. And I've heard from a lot of folks saying as great as the Kansas City Chiefs are as a team and they're winning Super Bowls all over the place, they got like the worst stadium. Because yeah. everybody's building yeah. these new phenomenal stadiums, right. and and you go to the Kansas City, and you're like, this is it, you know? So <laughs> this is it. So they need. We'll uh, see now. Yeah. All right. So we'll see about that. So you know, municipal bond market and all that kind of good stuff. All right. Palm Beach County joins other swank spots in selling bonds to build affordable housing. This was a larger. Isn't that an oxymoron uh, or something? Affordable housing in Palm Beach? Right. Yeah, no, that, well, <laughs> this is a bigger issue than, than we've seen in many of these cases. It's a $95 million deal, and part of that's going to be used to build affordable housing because, you know, you need some place for the workers to live. Um, and, you know, this, I myself have done stories about Telluride, Colorado, yep. Vail, Wellfleet, Massachusetts, and Nantucket also selling bonds for just this reason, because the price of the land has been so bid up by wealthy people that there's no place for the, uh, the you know, your normal workers, you know, yep. sanitation, um, police, fire to live, and you mm -hmm. want them to be close by. Yeah, I mean, this is a thing. I, mean, I remember seeing the Walt Disney Company did a similar thing yes. years ago in Orlando mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because uh, yep. you know, they all those workers there. Yep. Where do you go? I mean, where do you house these people af affordably? And, and we heard it was a great piece. Was it Tennessee, right? Didn't we talk about this before? That, uh, that Tennessee, everyone's moving from the east and west coast, and the locals are really mad because right. they're getting yes, priced right. out. And then we, story, yeah. Yeah, and then it becomes a really big issue, and how do you solve it? Do you think this muni thing will go well then for Palm Beach? Like, will that work? Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, they're, they're going to build the affordable housing and people will move in because they, the people want to live closer by, want to live, you know, the, the, the uh, I think we have one of the public officials quoted as saying, I don't want to lose people further west. No, we want them here. Yeah, yeah so, fair enough. Yeah, I mean, good a great, for them. I mean, a great chart showing the, the rise in the median home price in, oh, yeah. uh, in that West Palm Beach County or Palm Beach County. And it's just way up and to the right, as you would expect. And <laughs> now the average is up like 515,000, um, whereas average annually wages, they've gone up, but the graph ain't the same. It's right. not they're not right. going up as fast. And so that puts the squeeze on uh, some of those folks who need to live down there for their jobs. And so let's get to the municipal bond market. Hey, Joe, guess what? That's it? That is it, my friend. I'll see you next Friday. That is we'll see it. see you next Friday. Okay. We'll give you a champagne toast. All exactly. right. Exactly. The Joe Mysack, the dean of the municipal bond market uh, in terms of reporting uh, that important market. Um, and we're starting to see a lot of deals there this year. So big, big deals. It's so funny. When interest rates were low, wouldn't you issue then? But yeah. Joe, but what Joe has told me is they don't issue when they, when you know, when they want to they kind of just do it when they need it right but then in Interest retrospect aren't you like ooh, that would have been better to do this otherwise but you know yeah i wonder if the treasury is the same way anyway joe we'll see you next week thank you very much